So we've been um, applying genetic analysis to the study of myeloma for some years now. And you'd think that um, we'd found everything. Um, but that's far from the truth because the cognoscenti know that really we've only been looking at 2% of the cancer genome rather than all of it. So we carried out studies with our collaborators recently looking at the whole genome of myeloma patients. And this has opened up a whole new area of genetics around discovering structural chromosomal structural genetic changes. And by that I mean you always think of mutations as being a point mutation. Whereas in these these are macro scale rearrangements where one bit of the genome moves to another part of the genome and those are called chromosomal translocations and these chromosomal translocations in the non-coding genome turn out to be really important and you can use them to find new targets for therapy and you can use them as prognostic factors and what we know now is that Structural events are not always simple where one bit of the genome moves to another part of the genome. Sometimes they involve multiple sites, up to five different sites, where you find chains of deregulated DNA. And this is called chromaplexy or templated insertions. And if you look at chromaplexy, in the context of the known chromosomal translocations, it looks like when chromoplexy is present that there is um, an adverse prognosis. So it may allow you to improve clinical risk stratification. And the other type of complex event is called chromothripsis. It occurs in about 9% of all myeloma cases. And when it's present, it does seem to be associated with an adverse prognosis. And chromothripsis is where a region of a chromosome is sort of blown up, and then all of the bits are randomly reassembled so that you have changes in copy number, changes in orientation, and it can deregulate a lot of genes, and those deregulated genes are targets for therapy and determine prognosis. So I think in the next year or two, this is going to become a really important um, new type of mutation that we'll learn more and more about that will help with our clinical management of cases.